Hello friends. Welcome to my new Glassfish application server tutorial series video. Today, I will teach you how to create and set up JMS connection factory in Glassfish application server. Friends, Glassfish server provides an application server for the development and deployment of Java EE applications. In my previous tutorial, I have installed Glassfish server at the path G drive, Glassfish 4. Let's open the folder. Inside Glassfish 4 folder, there is a bin folder. This folder has all the batch files for Glassfish server. It contains batch files to start, stop Glassfish server. Let's move ahead and run these batch files to start Glassfish server. Open command prompt. Browse to folder having these batch files. Here, I will browse to G drive Glassfish 4 folder, and then to bin folder. In order to start Glassfish server, you can see there is a batch file by name, asadmin. Let's run a command using asadmin command. The command to start Glassfish server is asadmin start dash domain domain 1. Friends, after installing Glassfish server, it creates a default domain by name, domain 1. Press enter. It executes the command. It displays information that server has started, and admin port is 4848. Let's move ahead to new browser window and open Glassfish admin console. Type URL as localhost colon 4848. It opens Glassfish admin console. Friends. In order to create and set up JMS connection factory, we have to perform few steps. Go to resources node in the left hand side of admin console. It has a JMS resources tab. Click on it. In the main area of admin console, it shows two nodes such as connection factories and destination resources. Click on Connection Factories. In order to create a new connection factory, click on New button. It opens a page where we can configure New JMS Connection Factory. Under General Settings section, we have to mandatory provide JNDI name to our connection factory. This name is important as JMS Connection Factory will be referenced by this name. Let's provide a JNDI name to it. Usually, all the JMS resources are created with JMS slash as prefix. It helps in identifying JMS resources among other resources created on server. After slash, provide a name as, my connection Factory. Below JNDI name, there is a resource type row. It describes about the type of connection factory. Browse the list and it shows three types of resources. Topic Connection Factory is a factory, which helps us in creating and managing JMS topics for our servers. Q Connection Factory is a factory, which helps us in creating and managing JMS queues for our servers. And Connection Factory, which helps us in configuring both JMS queues and topics. We will select a Connection Factory from list of resources types. Moving ahead. As it is our first JMS Connection Factory, we provide an optional description as My First Connection Factory. Under Pool Settings, 
we can configure things like minimum pool size, maximum pool size, pool resize capacity, idle timeout, max wait time, on any failure what to do, transaction support and connection validations. Keep the things as it is, and click on OK. Thus, our first JMS connection factory gets created. We can also create more such types of factories. We can even select a particular connection factory, choose an option to delete, enable and disable it. We can also edit our connection factory by clicking on it. It displays a page where we can do update in settings and properties. After performing changes, just click save and that's it. Moving ahead. Friends, we can also create a new connection factory from NetBeans IDE and Glassfish server deployment descriptor file. Let's see how. First we have to create a new web application. Go to File menu, and select New Project. New Project dialog box gets open. In the Categories list, select Java Web and, select Web Application in the Projects list. Click Next. New Web Application dialog box gets open. Enter the name of the web application as, MyJMS. Click Next. Server and Settings section of the new web application dialog box gets open. We will select Glassfish Server as the server. Choose Java EE7 as Java EE version. The context path of web application is, slash my JMS. Click Finish. In Projects tab, my JMS web application gets created. Open it. In order to configure and create a JMS connection factory for this web application, we have to first create a new JMS resource. Let's move ahead and create a new JMS resource. Go to root of web application, right click new and click on other. New file dialog box gets open. In the categories list, select Glassfish and Select JMS resource in the file types list. Click Next. New JMS resource dialog box gets open. Below there is a list of connection factories types, which we discussed earlier. We will select, Java X dot, JMS dot connection factory. Provide a JNDI name, which we discussed earlier. Here, I provide name as, my NetBeans connection factory. Below I provide description as my second connection factory. Click next and then click finish. In the server resources folder, Glassfish specific deployment descriptor file gets created. If you open it, you will find that it has created definition for my NetBeans JMS connection factory, which we created earlier. In order to create these resources into Glassfish server, we have to build and deploy this application on Glassfish server. Let's move ahead and build my JMS web application. Right click on my JMS web application module and select clean and build option. After it gets built, Let's deploy it. Right click on my JMS web application module and select deploy option. After web application gets deployed, it will create JMS resource on Glassfish server. Let's go to admin console. Refresh JMS resources, by clicking on it and going to connection factories. It displays entry for my NetBeans connection factory. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, 
How to create and set up JMS Connection Factory in Glassfish Application Server, concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.